Steam Monsters, Steam Monsters, Steam Monsters, Steam Monsters, Steam Monsters News Talk with Little Scribe. Hi Monster fans, I just wanted to clue you in on something today regarding the Steam Monsters market. I've been talking with Dave McCoy, who I consider to be a bit of a trading guru, and he's been giving me some tips on how to manage my Steam Monsters account. Yesterday on the Fan Fiction Show, he came on and gave everybody the same advice, which is buy low, sell high. It's nothing new, but it's it seems counterintuitive to get the pocketbooks out and spend more money when our funds are a little bit lower. But that's the best thing you can do, not only to boost the economy, but to boost your own economy, and here's why. If we go over to the Steam Monsters market, you'll see that the prices are a bit low. Why is that, you might ask? That's because most of the purchasing power on the Steam Monsters cards comes from the Steam platform, meaning most of the people buying monster cards are coming from the Steam platform. When the Steam dollar is doing well, the monster dollar is doing well. Agrod and Yaba are working really hard to gain followers from external markets. They've already made it so that you can purchase the cards with US dollars, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and these cards are being marketed in social media, like Luke Stokes has got his Twitter page up where he broadcasts it to his followers, and many of his followers come from the EOS blockchain. So we are bringing in an external market, but it's going to take some time. In the meantime, we should capitalize on the lower dollar amount because when the Steam dollar is low, buying goes down. We want to pinch our pennies. The supply is really high and the demand is low. What we have are more cards for the taking, more good cards for the taking. Let's take a look at what your possibilities could be if you buy cards right now. So Karen McCurzy entered a Monster Face contest with a fan fiction show and she won five booster packs. Let's see how she did. The five monster booster packs. Let's go see what I got. We got a gift from Little Scribe. And it shows a five there. Five steam monster booster packs. Ooh, feral spirit. Oh, it's a gold one. Awesome. Pirate Captain. <laughs> Loving it. Let's go. Oh, a rare Twisted Tester. Add that to my collection. And a Rexy. So I'm just going to pause the show here for a second and notice that she did super awesome on her first hand. She's got a gold pirate captain, which by the way, yesterday's show, we we read some pirate stories. We had Darren Claxton from Great Britain and we had Nathan Kay from Australia do their sexy renditions of the pirates. We had a couple of different stories read and it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you for coming on our show. So that was kind of fun to see her get a gold pirate captain in honor of yesterday's readings. Also, the Twisted Jester is one of Agro's favorite car favorite signature cards because he did the Twisted Jester reading and he loves that story. Flesh Golem and Feral Spirit are Matt Clark's favorites. He's he's got a Flesh Golem army and a Feral Spirit army. So Matt Clark, if you're paying attention, maybe you need to go talk to Karen McClurvy about getting some of her cards. All right, let's open another pack. Animated Corps. Oh, epic. Yes. Ooh, Mega Warrior. I have this one. That one I can make worth my money. Skeleton Assassin. Divine Healer. Oh, another epic. Two oh, epics in cool. one hand. I wonder if I have this one. That nice. is cool. Nice Two job, Karen. Come on, legendary. Giant rock. 
Oh, a rare on its gear lip. Shark and Silver Shield Warrior. Let's go again. Rare. Have a twisted gesture. If the, if the pack or the card starts shaking, you know it's a legendary. And if you're lucky, it'll turn to gold. Oh, too rare. Got that, guys? If the pack, if the card starts shaking, you know it's a legendary or a gold. Minotaur Warrior. Let's find that turtle. And Skeleton Assassin. Fingers crossed on this one. Come on, legendary. Oh, and epic. Another Mega Warrior. Wow, that's going to make that card really powerful. Epics. That's two packs. I had two epics in it. This one is really cool. Swamp thing. That's awesome. Okay, well, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Okay, so that is Karen McCursey right here if you want to go check that out. She is such a cool fan. I love her. So. I decided to capitalize on the low dollar value of and the low market value of the Steam Monsters cards, and I went ahead and bought me a dragon. It's about darn time. I don't have any dragons, so I had to go ahead and, and get me one. And I got a lightning dragon from Johnny Law 08, and he's just on here all the time doing stuff, but on the market. The reason I bought a dragon, though, is because here, look. I was talking to Dave McCoy in Discord because he's kind of my go-to. And I say, well, Selenia's at 888 right now. And he says, wow, that is the lowest I've seen offer on Selenia Sky. Really? Yes. Wonder if I ought to give it another day or two. Just saying. So I'm gonna go check out the Selenia price right now. Let's see where she's at. Watch your fingers, guys. It's low. Ooh, 876. She went down 12 cents in one day. Wow. Okay, maybe I'll wait one more day. <laughs> See if I can get her at like 850. That's crazy. And yesterday he said 888 was the lowest he's ever seen. So everything is really low right now, you guys. If you want to get good cards, now's the time to do it. Not only on the monster market for trading, but also in purchasing packs because you're more likely to get a higher card because fewer of them are being purchased. That's just the way it is. So I say now is better than ever to get a good card. If you want to stock up on your monster cards, do it now. Good luck.